Today I'm in Zeering, Iowa for their annual Zeering Days. A friend of mine is putting on a little car show. So I told him I'd come out here, check it out. Let's see what showed up. Before the car show, there was a little parade. So there's still cars that were in the parade that are showing up for the show now. They also have tractors as well. I thought those of you in Europe might want to take a look at some of the vehicles and things that show up to local parades here in the Midwest. Take a look.
got an old Oliver. Someone added a load or two. These tractors just pulled off of the parade. Might be one guy who restored all of these John Deere's. There's a Farmall C. Ferguson 35. This is pretty neat. Has a little two bottom plow on the back. Little tiny farm all cub. And we got some big Olivers. Another loader. I guess someone likes these all over 1550s. Down here on the end is one of my favorites. I love these Art Deco Oliver tractors. I just think these look so cool. Not only did they bring the tractors, they brought some implements with them as well. Usually when I'm doing a video of a car show, it's a pretty major car show. This is going to give you an idea of what the typical car show, small town car show in the Midwest, what kind of vehicles would show up to that. Ran into one of my buddies. He just pulled this car out of a barn. Yeah, how long ago was that? Two weeks ago. Yeah, it sat for 16 years. The only thing we've done is took the old gas out of it when started it and been driving it. I put a radiator in it, the radiator sprung a leak. Mm -hmm. But that's pretty much the only thing we've done. Changed the oil, put plugs in it, just normal stuff. Can you... So you put a new radiator in. Did you touch much of anything else? No, we haven't done nothing else. Just spark plugs and oil, that's it. Didn't have to do nothing. Still has the quadrajet carburetor on it and it doesn't miss a beat. You didn't even have to clean that out, rebuild nope. it? Nope. If you take a look on the inside of this car, this thing is still gorgeous. We're super, super clean. I know, except cars, they move. <laughs> yeah, now it runs pretty good. Move before you know it. Yeah. <laughs> the rigid paint job, or do you have something else painted? It was repainted, but it's the original color of the car. Oh, it's a chestnut cool. brown. Well, we got interrupted by a local, so I need to move on. Maybe we'll see more of this car later. It's a really nicely restored Dodge Cornet. This is the Chrysler 440 Magnum V8. Looks like they even have a car seat fitted. Z28 Camaro. Looks like this one might be restored. They've done some work. Engine is not quite stock. Automatic transmission, as a lot of cars of this era started to have. I love these old work trucks when people restore them. This one looks like it's on a modern chassis, though. Maybe it's just on modern wheels. The interior looks pretty original. Looks like they've stuffed a pretty big engine in there to get this down the road. Oh, this truck is pretty special. This is one of the original Napco conversions. Chevrolet didn't have four wheel drive. 
So Napco did four wheel drive conversions on these. On the inside, we can see the levers that have been added here for the transfer case. There's a Chrysler Imperial. This is pretty neat. Look at the inside of this thing. I don't know how many bodies would fit into this trunk, but I would say many. Another Z28 Camaro. I don't know what it is with these guys with those original air cleaners. Apparently they don't like them. Charger, Thunderbird. This one's a convertible. I don't see those very often. This is a Buick GS, basically the Buick version of the Chevrolet Chevelle. A little hot rod. Pontiac GTO. 69 Mustang Mach 1. Here's an old Dodge. You don't see these very often. Obviously not the correct engine. It's a 1957 D100. Could be on a modern chassis. We got someone's Camaro drag car here. Electric water pump on the front there. There we have a Plymouth Superbird. Pretty neat thing to show up to a small local car show. This one looks to be pretty original. Their claim to fame is obviously these giant wings that were added so that NASCAR could use them. Six Mustang and an International Scout next to that. This is the Scout 2. This is the newer style bodywork. Dodge Charger with a vinyl top. Another Chevrolet. One of the most popular cars around here. Dodge Dart. I have a Ranchero here. I used to have a Thunderbird like this. It was gigantic. Had a 460 V8 in it. The fuel gauge didn't work, so I ran out of gas all the time. And this is one of my favorites of the whole show. I just love binders. This is an International S120. This hood does open in either direction, so you can open it, hinge it on either side. This one has a short box on it as well. So that's a neat little truck. This is the kind of thing I could see myself driving to the shop every day. This truck should have the black diamond 240 cubic inch engine and it looks like it still retains it. The car's right here. It's a, it's a 
It's a Plymouth Duster. And a Camaro next to that. I have a old Chevrolet, a 47 right here. Ooh, this is a Chevrolet Nomad wagon. These are pretty rare, very sought after today. And we have a Trans Am, probably the dream car of a lot of kids when I was in high school. Ford Fairlane. We've got a Chevelle. And a Fox Body Mustang there on the end. This is actually a surprisingly big car show for a town of 500 people. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.